So when we talk about city, in most of the cases, people will think city is a human dominated area. But in reality, there are many wild animals living in the city, but uh, many people don't know that. Hello, my name is Yu Han. I'm a wildlife conservationist and I work for Shenshui Conservation Center. Today we are at the art exhibition and the theme for this exhibition is about wild animals and it's about nature. So having this exhibition in the city center is really good for the public to understand the different forms of life around us. So this is the star of Shanghai, the raccoon dogs. But of course the real raccoon dogs is not pink. But for the art design, it turns into a pink raccoon dogs. So here is the uh, description of the actual dogs. And this one is actually living in one of the neighborhoods in Shanghai. Uh, her family is quite famous because she looks really pretty. So lots of documentary films are actually uh, shot around her. And these paintings are actually created for this exhibition. We can see uh, snow leopards, um, the monkey, otter, and raccoon dogs and this is specially designed for this exhibition. So when we start to uh, get in touch with the artist and with uh, the host, we thought it's a great idea to combine science and art. So that is a giant snow leopard. Um, this team also spent lots of efforts in creating, making this giant snow leopard happen. Uh, so one of the efforts that took lots of time it's actually the tail of the snow leopard. We can go, go to the back and see the tail. Because one significant feature about snow leopard is that their tails are as long as their body. So you can see there is a really long tail. But how to make this long tail look as good as other parts? So in the end, the exhibition host created another pump into the tail so that we can see this tail is so nice, and it's very long tail. So we are also planning different um, activities to support or to help the public to get engaged with nature. For example, in different parks in Shanghai, we have this regular bird survey and plant survey, which we re recruit normal citizens, for example, 10 people, a team each month, to go on the survey with us. In this way, they can have this very close contact with nature and they can have better understanding about what is around them. I think engaging the public can help the public to reconnect with nature. So when human beings are living in the city, sometimes we think we are the only life form here, which is not. Uh, when we talk about Mother Earth, human beings are always the naughty one, the naughty kid. We have done lots of destruction to the environment and also to our siblings. So I think it's quite important to give the opportunity to the public to re-engage with nature, to understand there are so many different forms of life around us and then to care about different forms of life, the wild animals, wild plants and all kinds of living things.